today I'm going to talk about my system's thinking approach to water pollution. As you can see here, I've created a physical analysis diagram on water pollution. There are six contributing factors to water pollution. There are oil leaks and spills, domestic sewage and agricultural waste, deforestation, marine dumping, and industrial waste. But today I'm going. But in this slide, I'm just only going to talk about the bottom three, which are deforestation, marine dumping, and industrial waste. For top three, I will talk about those in in the later of the video. Increased runoff of soil erosion and organic residue are three factors that contribute to deforestation. The disposal of chemicals, radioactive waste, trash and munitions, and contaminated material are contributing factors to marine dumping. Fossil fuel usage, waste water, mining, and metal casting are co four contributors to industrial waste. Based on the information that I've collected, I've created a casual link diagram of water pollution. On the right, you can see that I've written industrial waste, marine dumping, and deforestation. But I already talked about those in the beginning of the video, so I'm not going to waste my energy talking about these right now. I'm going to focus on oil leaks and spills, domestic sewage, and agricultural waste, and their sub factors. Oil drilling, oil tank leakage, and large ship spills contribute to oil leaks and spills which will then contribute to water pollution impurities. Human waste, bacteria and pathogens in laundry waste all connect to domestic sewage and that will later on contribute to water pollution impurities. And finally, we have agricultural waste. Animal waste, heavy metals, salts and chemicals all connect to agricultural waste and agricultural waste along with domestic sewage and oil extent spills will help will contribute to water pollution impurities, which will make water bad and not good. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and I hope you have learned more about water pollution.